7 Skin Warning Signs That Your Kidneys May Be In Danger Imagine waking up one morning, going through your usual routine, and as you glance at yourself in the mirror, something catches your eye. Your skin, usually your body's silent storyteller, seems to be whispering a tale you've never heard before. Could it be trying to tell you something about your kidneys? Welcome, everyone, to our channel where we delve into the mysteries of health and wellness. Today, we're diving deep into seven skin warning signs that your kidneys are failing. Yes, you heard it right, your skin might just be sending you a message about the health of your kidneys. But before we begin our exploration, let me ask you this, have you ever noticed peculiar changes in your skin that left you puzzled? Maybe it's that persistent itchiness that just won't go away, or perhaps you've brushed off the unexplained dryness as a seasonal quirk. What if I told you that these seemingly innocent signs could be your body's way of sounding the alarm bells for your kidneys? According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, approximately 15% of Americans have kidney disease. But fear not. Join us as we unravel the enigmatic connection between your skin and your kidneys. So, instead of rushing out, stay until the end to know these signs to protect yourself and your loved ones from kidney diseases. Now, let's start with the first sign. 1. Edema. Have you experienced swelling in your legs or arms? Edema, or swelling, while seemingly innocuous, can often serve as a silent indicator of underlying kidney issues, a fact that remains relatively unknown to many. Edema occurs when excess fluid accumulates in the body's tissues, causing them to swell. While it can affect various parts of the body, such as the legs, ankles, feet, and hands, it's essential to recognize that edema can be more than just a mere inconvenience. It often serves as an early indicator of underlying health issues, including kidney dysfunction. So, how does kidney disease contribute to swelling? The kidneys play a crucial role in maintaining fluid balance in the body by filtering waste products and excess fluid from the blood, which are then excreted as urine. However, when the kidneys are impaired due to disease or damage, they may not function efficiently, leading to fluid retention and edema. For instance, in conditions like chronic kidney disease, CKD, the kidneys gradually lose their ability to filter waste products and regulate fluid levels effectively. As a result, fluid builds up in the body, leading to swelling, particularly in the lower extremities. In advanced stages of CKD, edema can become more pronounced and widespread, affecting multiple organ systems. An effective method involves gently pressing on the swollen area with your finger for a few seconds, then releasing it. If the indentation remains or takes time to disappear, it could be a sign of edema. Another technique is to monitor your body weight regularly and note any sudden or unexplained fluctuations, as rapid weight gain can indicate fluid retention. By incorporating these simple self-assessment techniques into your routine, you can recognize potential signs of edema and its connection to kidney health. Next, let's explore another skin-related sign to watch out for. 2. Yellowish skin. Yellowish skin, known as jaundice, is a symptom often associated with liver issues, but it can also indicate underlying kidney problems, a lesser-known fact among many individuals. Jaundice occurs when there is an excess of bilirubin, a yellow pigment produced during the breakdown of red blood cells, in the bloodstream. Normally, the liver processes bilirubin and excretes it in bile. However, if the kidneys are unable to efficiently filter and eliminate waste products from the blood, bilirubin can build up, resulting in jaundice. One of the primary causes of jaundice related to kidney issues is a condition called cholestasis, where bile flow from the liver to the intestine is impaired. This can occur due to kidney diseases that affect the normal functioning of the renal system, such as acute or chronic kidney failure, glomerulonephritis, or kidney infections. In these cases, the kidneys may not adequately remove waste products, including bilirubin, leading to its accumulation in the bloodstream and subsequent yellowing of the skin. Moreover, certain kidney disorders, such as autoimmune conditions like lupus nephritis or genetic conditions like Alport syndrome, can also contribute to jaundice by impairing kidney function and interfering with bilirubin metabolism. According to data from reputable sources such as the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, Jaundice can affect individuals of all ages, 
with an estimated 12% of adults in the United States experiencing symptoms of kidney disease, including jaundice. If you notice a yellowish tint, it could indicate an accumulation of bilirubin in the bloodstream, which may be associated with kidney dysfunction. Monitoring kidney function through regular checkups and blood tests can help detect issues early, allowing for timely intervention and management to maintain overall health and well-being. Moving on to a skin discomfort that could be related to kidney disease. 3. Pruritus. Do you frequently experience itching on your skin? Pruritus, commonly known as itching, is a lesser-known symptom that can indicate underlying kidney disease. While itching may seem like a harmless annoyance, it can actually be a significant indicator of kidney dysfunction. The primary cause of pruritus in kidney disease is the buildup of toxins in the bloodstream, a condition known as uremia. When the kidneys fail to adequately filter waste products from the blood, these toxins accumulate and can trigger a systemic inflammatory response, leading to itching. Specifically, elevated levels of uremic toxins such as urea and creatinine can directly irritate nerve fibers in the skin, resulting in the sensation of itching. Additionally, imbalances in electrolytes, particularly phosphorus and calcium, commonly observed in kidney disease, can contribute to pruritus. Elevated phosphorus levels, often seen in advanced stages of kidney disease, can lead to the deposition of calcium phosphate crystals in the skin, causing irritation and itching. Furthermore, changes in calcium metabolism, including decreased activation of vitamin D and increased parathyroid hormone levels, can disrupt the skin barrier function and exacerbate itching. According to the National Kidney Foundation, up to 50 to 90 percent of patients with end-stage renal disease, ESRD, experience pruritus. So you have to focus on the timing and persistence of itching, particularly if it occurs or worsens at night or after bathing. Moreover, observe if the itching is accompanied by other symptoms such as dry skin, changes in urine output, or swelling in the legs or ankles. If you experience persistent itching that cannot be attributed to external factors, it could be a sign of underlying kidney dysfunction. Next, let's explore another discomforting skin sign accompanied by redness and blistering. 4. Skin Rash While many may not associate skin rash with kidney issues, it can indeed be a significant indicator, particularly for older adults in the United States. A skin rash refers to any abnormal change in the skin's appearance or texture, often characterized by redness, inflammation, itching, or blistering. While skin rashes can have various causes, including allergies, infections, or autoimmune conditions, they can also be a manifestation of underlying kidney dysfunction. The connection between kidney disease and skin rash lies in the body's intricate network of filtration and elimination processes. Healthy kidneys play a crucial role in filtering waste products and toxins from the blood, maintaining fluid and electrolyte balance, and regulating blood pressure. However, when the kidneys are impaired or diseased, they may not effectively remove these waste products from the body, leading to a buildup of toxins in the bloodstream. One such toxin is urea a waste product of protein metabolism that is normally excreted through the urine. In individuals with kidney disease, elevated levels of urea in the blood can cause irritation and inflammation of the skin, resulting in the development of a rash. Additionally, imbalances in electrolytes such as potassium and calcium, which are regulated by the kidneys, can also contribute to skin abnormalities. Therefore, pay attention to the location and persistence of the rash. Skin rash associated with kidney issues often appears in areas where waste products are excreted, such as the legs and arms. Additionally, if the rash persists despite conventional treatments or is accompanied by other symptoms like swelling or changes in urine output, it could be a sign of underlying kidney dysfunction. Next, let's move on to a skin issue that we might think is just a normal sign but actually serves as a warning for kidney health. 5. Dry Skin do you often experience dry skin despite moisturizing frequently? While many attribute dry skin to external factors like weather or age, few realize that it can actually serve as a subtle yet crucial indicator of underlying kidney issues. Dry skin occurs when the skin loses moisture and becomes dehydrated, resulting in flakiness, itchiness, and roughness. While external factors like weather conditions and skin care habits can contribute to dry skin, 
it's essential to recognize that internal factors, including kidney function, play a vital role in maintaining skin hydration. The connection between kidney disease and dry skin lies in the kidney's role in regulating fluid balance and eliminating waste products from the body. Healthy kidneys help maintain the body's internal environment by filtering waste products and excess fluid from the bloodstream, which are then excreted as urine. However, when the kidneys are compromised due to disease or damage, they may not function efficiently, leading to a buildup of toxins and fluid retention in the body. One such toxin is urea, a waste product of protein metabolism that is normally excreted through the urine. In individuals with kidney disease, elevated levels of urea in the blood can lead to dehydration and dryness of the skin. Additionally, imbalances in electrolytes such as potassium and calcium, which are regulated by the kidneys, can also contribute to skin dryness and irritation. So, pay attention to the overall texture and appearance of your skin, particularly areas prone to dryness such as the arms and legs. If you notice persistent dryness, flakiness, or itchiness despite moisturizing regularly, it could be a sign of underlying kidney dysfunction. Additionally, monitor your hydration levels by ensuring adequate fluid intake and observing changes in urine output. Let's now shift our focus to a nail-related sign that many people may overlook. Can you guess what it is? 6. Half and half nails. Half and half nails, characterized by a distinct line that divides the nail into two halves with different colors or appearances, are often overlooked as a potential sign of kidney disease. While this condition is more commonly associated with liver problems, emerging research suggests a link between half and half nails and underlying renal issues. The scientific rationale behind this association lies in the role of chronic kidney disease, CKD, in disrupting the normal production of certain proteins and nutrients that contribute to nail health. In particular, hypoalbuminemia, a condition marked by low levels of albumin in the blood, is prevalent in individuals with CKD. Since albumin plays a crucial role in maintaining nail structure and color, its deficiency can lead to alterations in nail appearance, including the development of half and half nails. Furthermore, other factors contributing to half and half nails in the context of kidney disease involve changes in blood flow and oxygenation to the nail bed as well as the accumulation of waste products and toxins in the bloodstream due to impaired kidney function. These physiological changes can affect nail growth and pigmentation, resulting in the characteristic appearance of half and half nails. For instance, a study published in the Journal of Clinical and Diagnostic Research reported that, approximately 30% of CKD patients exhibited half and half nails, with a higher prevalence observed in advanced stages of the disease. Therefore, Take notice of your nail's condition, especially if you see a clear line dividing the top and bottom sections, resembling a half-and-half half appearance. Don't overlook subtle changes in nail appearance, as they could potentially signal important health concerns, including kidney disease. Last but certainly not least, is a rare yet potentially dangerous sign lurking in the kidneys. 7. Uremic Frost Uremic Frost, a rare and often misunderstood symptom, is a telltale sign of advanced kidney disease. It occurs when urea, a waste product normally excreted by the kidneys, builds up in the bloodstream due to kidney dysfunction. As urea levels rise, it can be deposited on the skin, resulting in the formation of a powdery white or yellowish substance known as uremic frost. While uremic frost is not a common occurrence, its presence indicates severe kidney impairment and warrants immediate medical attention. Without proper treatment, kidney function can continue to deteriorate, leading to a range of complications and potentially life-threatening consequences. Uremic frost, a rare and often overlooked sign of kidney disease, manifests as a powdery white substance on the skin. This condition occurs when urea and other waste products build up in the bloodstream due to impaired kidney function, eventually leading to their deposition on the skin surface. As kidney function declines, the body becomes less efficient at filtering waste products, resulting in elevated levels of urea in the blood. Over time, uremic frost may appear on the skin, particularly in areas with high sweat production, such as the face and arms. Despite its rarity, uremic frost serves as a significant indicator of advanced kidney disease and warrants immediate medical attention. According to the National Kidney Foundation, 
uremic frost is most commonly observed in individuals with end-stage renal disease, ESRD, where kidney function is significantly compromised, and dialysis or kidney transplant may be necessary for survival. Its presence signifies a severe deterioration in kidney function and may be accompanied by other symptoms such as fatigue, nausea, and changes in urine output. In addition to being a visible marker of kidney disease, uremic frost can also have implications for overall health and well-being. Excess urea in the bloodstream can lead to systemic complications, including neurological disturbances, cardiovascular issues, and electrolyte imbalances. So, take note of any unusual white frost-like deposits on your skin, particularly around areas where sweat accumulates, such as the face and arms. If you observe this frosty appearance, it could indicate a severe buildup of urea in the blood, often associated with advanced kidney dysfunction. If you found the insights shared in this video valuable, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more enriching content like this in the future. Do you know of any other skin signs that you think might be related to kidney disease? Share your thoughts with us in the comments section below, and I'll delve deeper into them in future videos. In summary, while overlooking the impact of these seven skin warning signs on your kidney health may seem trivial, it's essential to recognize their significance. Understanding and addressing these signs transcend mere routines and can significantly impact our overall health and quality of life. In our fast-paced world, where daily pressures abound, being mindful of our habits is vital to safeguarding our well-being. Remember, your health is your greatest wealth. Stay tuned for more insightful content. And until next time, take care and be well.